Hey team, it's day 57. I hope you guys are doing great. We're gonna get into the six goals, but the one question I got asked by one of my followers is, you know, I really love the, you know, the program, you know, it makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know, you know, what I'm gonna incorporate all together, but the one problem I really have is uh, from a workout perspective, I just, I'm not comfortable going to gyms. That's been my biggest kind of roadblock is I don't like, I don't like going to gyms, you know, being around people, I'm kind of subconscious, you know, and that totally makes sense. So I wanna go over today, like, as it relates to activity, as you're doing this or any type of weight loss program, like, what options do you have outside of, you know, going to a gym? Like, I'm a huge uh, person that likes to go to a gym. Um, I, I, I won't say gym rat because I used to spend a lot of times in there, but uh, that's my release. Like, I physically have to go to somewhere as a habit to work out, otherwise I've tried the home workout stuff and I just can't do it. So let's go over the, the, the results real quick from uh, day 57, and I had to look again, and uh, then we'll go through a couple different options that I have for people who may not be comfortable going to the gym and really want a different way of activity other than you know getting to a gym, getting on cardio machines, uh, things like that, okay? Here we go. So day 57, I was 215, awesome. 1582 calories, 140 ounces of water, it's always funny when I get those seven hours of sleep how, uh, how I weigh less. 50 minutes of activity and 228 grams of protein. So, <laughs> sorry, I ran through that really quickly, but it's kind of self-explanatory and I really want to get over to this because um, you know, it's just really near and dear to my heart like so many of these other things just because I've heard it before. And there's so many things you can do. Uh, and especially when you look at what the trifecta is, calorie, wa calories, water, sleep, you know, activity I always put is optional because it's the first thing that goes, but we need to move our bodies in order to burn the extra calories to help us maintain that healthy weight. And honestly, cardiovascular health, uh, you know, uh, cholesterol health, just any sort of a healthy body comes from moving as well as eating right. Uh, even if it means a little lower calories, like, you know, yesterday when I talked about just adding the fiber, you know, something, some simple changes in what you eat, but also some simple changes as to how you move every day. Uh, you know, with the pandemic and us getting past that, uh, hopefully soon people returning back to work, you know, we're going to be moving around a little more, at least to and from work, walking in and out of the parking lot. There's different things you can do to make sure you get into your activity. And the first one is, um, if you don't like a gym, there is what they call as hybrid gyms now. So the biggest thing is, is that you technically, why they call them hybrid is because they're virtual and live. So whether it's classes, whether it's whatever this, the gym specifically offer, uh, you can do a lot of it virtually. So just look at your local listings, Google, we all have that, uh, you know, use your phone, search if there are what I call hybrid gyms and you can select the virtual option and it will give you a different taste of you know joining classes and really following along with with some workouts that you can do at home now like your cycling classes may take a bike if you have a stationary bike uh, but for the most part you should be able to find classes that maybe all need is maybe just a mat to put down on the floor and i remember body flow um, there's some less mills classes that you can do with just a little bit of equipment or just your own body weight uh, check that out if you don't feel very comfortable going to the gym. The next part is just get outside. So many people, oops, that ease a little bit, but so many people discount the effectiveness of a, an equation that we learned a long time ago, mass times distance equals energy, right? So 215 pounds times the distance I got to move this over a, a mile uh, it equals much, so I'm just gonna put this down here for you guys. It equals about 80% of your body weight. So for instance, I'll just estimate. So one mile moving equals, I just say approximately 80% of weight. Okay, in calories. So 80% of weight in calories. And I don't know if you, you know that, I heard it from one of my doctors once, and it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, it's not completely accurate, but in the same sense, it's just as accurate if you, if you jumped on a machine and, and tested that, or um, it's not as accurate if you had like a, um, a, what am I trying to say, a metabolic maybe monitor on you, or you were doing a VO2 max 
test by you know professional or doctor may not be as accurate but i mean for me so how you figure that out is uh let's go with a different color so for me i'm 215 pounds times 0.8 that's going to give you 165 i'm just gonna that's a zero carry the four that's two carry the one um 172 okay so I'll erase that real quick. Sorry guys, I was doing math backwards. Didn't, wasn't expecting to put myself in that. So 172 calories. So this is your weight. That's 80% technically. That's 80% written as a decimal equals, you know, calories burned. Now that's just a general guideline. So if you are doing um, if you're running up hills or, you know, the incline of the resistance is a little more than, you know, just your typical outside walking or running at a, at a slower pace, then this is obviously going to change and it's going to go up per mile that, that you go or per gradient that you climb. But like if you're just walking distances and that's a good, that's a good thing to do um, for every mile, I'm going to burn right around 172 calories. So if I walk for 30 minutes, three miles an hour is about 10 minute miles, no, that's six miles, 20 minute miles, I'm sorry, goodness, I'm off. 20 minute miles, so then I could walk probably three miles in an hour, so that would mean I would burn a little less than 600 calories, you know, actually about 546 maybe, I think that might be right, 500, 550 calories. So that's just a good way for you to calculate if, for instance, you know you're doing a little deficit on your calories and you wanna go a little further, that's a good way to measure it. So. Getting outside is the second thing, and just moving is, is another one. The other thing you could do, I gotta use blue for this, is you got the hybrid gyms that are virtual lives, get outside, but you can also just go straight online programs. So this is similar to the virtual gym. But there are a ton of different things um, that you can do online programs, people sell courses, there are free things that you can join, a lot of different things. And the last one that I like to do, what I call is, um, what I call is community fitness. And there's a lot more guys that you can do is community fitness is they, they'll sometimes have running groups or walking groups or just different great types of group that you can join in your community or in your neighborhood, uh, you know, just ask around, you can join those things. So all of these things, uh, that's just, I don't know, group stuff. I'll just put group stuff, but all of these things that you can do if you don't really like going to the gym. And then the last thing of course is, you know, you got a gym, you can go live, you know, that, that's, a, that's another option of well, but it's basically what I'm talking about today is what types of activities should you be doing just move, just move. Find something that you're comfortable with and start to do it. And over time, as you get that confidence, because like I said, the four pillars that I coach around are your physical mindset, relationship, financial. But the physical is what I always say is the easiest to start to tackle to get that confidence right away. Because for your activity, all you gotta do is move. And there's so many options that you can do here. You track your calories, you get your water, you get your sleep and you're on your way. And as soon as that scale starts to just tick down a little bit, all of a sudden life looks different. You look different at, to, uh, uh, in the mirror when you're looking at yourself, you have a different sort of confidence and step. This can happen in a matter of days. So try it. This is what kind of stuff you can do if you don't like to go to that gym and over time, maybe you'll build up the confidence and you wanna join a gym or you join the hybrid and you're like, hey, those are pretty cool people, I'd like to go there. Anyway, I hope this helps. I appreciate all of you guys for following. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll do them in subsequent videos. But other than that, uh, leave, leave any comments in the comments. And as always, I appreciate your support and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thanks again.